hello in this video i'll show you how you can easily match or even skin color when it comes to photoshop so we're going to be evening out and creating even skin tones and matching skin tones in just photoshop using the gradient maps and some simple masking tools or techniques for this very image so you can see some cases or in some cases the face may look a little bit different from the rest of the body as a result of maybe makeup and some lighting conditions during the photo shoot and we have to do that within photoshop later on during post production so for this we are just going to come to adjustments and simply come to where you see gradient map and as soon as you apply the gradient map adjustment layer any random color is going to cover and display on top of your image so you shouldn't be worried in case your gradient is displaying a different color from what i have on the screen because we have to change this later on so just come and ensure that you have selected on this gradient icon so make sure for this to happen you have selected the gradient icon and not this white layer mask with the gradient icon selected simply come and turn off the gradient layer by clicking on the visibility icon then after this come to the properties of the gradient map in case you can't see the properties window or option come to window and make sure properties is checked so after doing that you're just going to come anywhere on the color that is displaying under gradient map properties and simply click on that color once you you click on that color it is going to open up the gradient editor and in the gradient editor make sure the gradient is set to solid and smoothness is set to a hundred percent after that come to the sample size make sure it is set five by five average because we want the sampled colors to be as accurate as possible then come to sample and make sure it is set to all layers because we want to sample information from both layers and make sure show sampling ring is also selected after that we just want to sample color so you can see that in the gradient editor we have these pointers this is going to represent the one on the left is going to represent the darkest color of the model skin and this one is going to represent the one on the right is going to represent the brightest color on the model skin and later on we shall create one in the middle to represent the middle tones or the middle the mid tones regarding skin color of the model so after this simply click on this pointer so click on it ensure the location is set to zero then click on the color option to open up the color picker or stop color window right here and with this zoom into the image the reason for zooming in we just want to sample a darkest color on the model skin for this step we just want to sample the darkest color on the model skin and not any dark color in the image we are choosing a darkest color on the skin so i'll just click on in the ear right there that is where i feel like i have a dark color regarding the model skin i'll click ok then i'll click on this right hand pointer and ensure the location is set to 100 so you can just type in 100 then click on the color option and i'm just going to come and click on the brightest area of the model skin so we are sampling colors from the area we want to use as a reference point and the colors that we are sampling in this case are the colors we want to paint in the overall image so you're just going to click in the middle once again and type the location to 50 so I just type in 50 under location then click on the color option and choose any mid tone color so i'm just going to sample that color and click ok so after sampling these colors you can notice this is containing colors from the darkest then the mid tones to the brightest color after that just simply come and hit or click on ok so once you have done that you are simply going to come and simply activate or turn on this layer once again 
and change the blend mode from normal and change it all the way down to color and as soon as you do that you can see the skin on the face is basically the same color like uh, the bottom area where we wanted to create uniform color and match the face to the lower part of the body after that we're just going to come and click on this white layer mask once we have selected the layer mask press ctrl i or you can use command i on the keyboard to invert or hide the effect so press ctrl i or you can use command i to invert or hide the effect once you have hidden the effect we are simply going to come back to the background image and simply make a copy from the background image by pressing ctrl j or you can simply drag and drop it to the new layer icon to create a copy from the background layer then you're going to come to select and come to subject so the reason for selecting the subject is because as we're trying to paint on the skin we don't want color to spill over to the background of the image after selecting this or after selecting the subject come to the black layer mask that we have just created that represents the gradient map then you're going to come and get the brush tool so just come the brushes and get the brush tool and for the settings of the brush ensure the hardness set to zero soft round brush is selected the mode is set to normal or passed at 100 percent flow at 100 percent and ensure that you have black and white on these two color swatches so in case you have any color apart from black and white you can reset these color swatches by simply pressing d on the keyboard d is going to reset these colors to black and white or you can simply click on these two tiny color swatches so ensure white is the top color remember in photoshop white is going to reveal and black is going to hide that is why the skin effect was hidden behind this black mask so in order to reveal it we are simply going to paint using a white brush on the areas that we want to correct and create matching skin so i'm just going to start painting so click and hold down and start painting on the area that you want to fine tune or perfect in this case so i'll paint like that and you can see as soon as we start painting the overall skin is going to look nice and uniform in this case so i'll paint like this ensure that you zoom out to see every single area that you want correct so i'm just going to paint like this and by just doing this you can see or notice that right now the skin area is looking uniform and it is way better than where uh, we started so i'm just going to reduce on the size and i paint on those areas that have or contain skin color or skin tones in this very image so in case you make a mistake during the painting process you can come and change this back to black and black is going to erase an effect from a given area so i'm just going to paint using white so you can use this arrow to switch between black and white so white to paint the effect in that given area so you can see this it is as easy as doing this when it comes to matching or evening out skin color so in case this area looks darker than the face you can as well come and create another adjustment layer which is the brightness and contrast so just come and create a brightness and contrast adjustment layer sorry about this ctrl z so ensure before you create a brightness and contrast adjustment layer deselect the active selection by pressing ctrl d or you can use command d to deselect the active selection then come create a brightness and contrast adjustment layer and brighten up the image and take down the contrast slightly just like this then press ctrl i or you can use command i to invert the effect and with the brush tool once again you can brighten the lower part of the body so paint using uh, this white brush in this area that you want to slightly brighten and this is going to make everything look nice and even in the overall image regarding matched or even skin color or skin tones in this very image so 
It is as simple as this when it comes to using gradient maps to match or even skin color in Photoshop. You can say before and after. Right now, everything looks nice and even. Let's look at the overall before and after for this process. This was the image initially before, after, before, after, before, after. So this is how you can easily match or even skin color when it comes to Photoshop. I hope you have learned and enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to keep practicing and as well keep creating.